here. I can't seem to set up this shot. My big new diamond ring keeps throwing off my balance. <laughs> oh, good for you, Ben. Oh. Ooh, that must have cost your wife a pretty penny. You wouldn't believe the disgusting sexual perversions I had to perform to get that. Oh, I think I would. Meet the twins. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, Lord, the things we do for love. Of money! <laughs> Here you go. Where the hell have you been? Riding a llama in Neverland. Where do you think I was? I was cleaning. Mr. Beverly Leslie, here's your B-52 with one ice cube. Thank you, sweetie. I thought your drink was a blackberry julep with a baby aspirin chaser. <laughs> I switched. Wait a minute. How do you know that? Because... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because I'm good at my job. Quit busting my hump, lady. <laughs> what? I was just looking at your balls. <laughs> your stripes, right? Please. Honey, that is absurd. There is no such thing as a gay penguin. Well, well, well. Karen Walker and her Jewess. <laughs> Out for a morning shop. If it isn't Tom and Helen Willis of TV's The Jeffersons. <laughs> Hello, Beverly Leslie. How are things in Ankleville? Not so good. Uh, my dear wife, Crystal, has suddenly passed. Oh, Beverly, I'm so sorry. Me too, although I never met Crystal. But oddly, I have met your business associate, Benji, 16 times. <laughs> including once at the ramrod. I'm here to buy a dress to bury Crystal in. Honey, I think maybe you should wear men's clothes for the <laughs> Bev, Bev, honey, come here. You know that I love you in my way, and I know that you love Crystal in your way. So now that she's out of the way, is there anything that I can do for you? Well, Karen, it would really mean a lot to me if you would attend Crystal's memorial service tomorrow afternoon. Well, of course. Beverly, I wouldn't miss it. And, Miss Adler, why don't you join us? Oh, no, no. I, I, I couldn't intrude on, on a day that's so intimate and personal and boring. <laughs> oh, please. It's not going to be anything like that. It's more like a party. Celebration of her death. Life. Life. <laughs> so I'll see you both tomorrow afternoon. I'll be receiving from 5.30 till 6.30. Boy, that's got to be a long hour for you. <laughs> Love when we play Baby Beverly. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oops, baby go boom. <laughs> now you stop being such a tease. It is time for us to consummate this union. I'm going to go put in a Magnum P.I. rerun to get in the mood. But before I leave, how about a kiss? All right, close your eyes. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Grace would like to say the traditional Jewish prayer for the dead. Oh, well, how delightful. <laughs> um, Yiskadal, for Yiskadash. Um, Asha, Gasha, Bagasha. <laughs> oh, Ruch Hatarunai. Oh, bloody, oh, blada. Spielberg, Katzenberg, Geffen. Amen. Oh, Miss Adler.
Adler, that was just beautiful. You know what else is beautiful? I just got us stuck. Oh, thank God. Can we go get out of this? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Beverly, I am so sorry. No, no, I no. Never, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Miss Adler, how dare you come into my home and desecrate the day that I have set aside to celebrate my wife's death? Life. Life. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? Ah, oh, nuts. There's nothing in the mini bar, or as you call it, bar. <laughs> Has that morphine kicked in yet? Karen, I've always considered you a dear friend. That's a yes. <laughs> I feel a burning need to share something intensely personal with you. But it's just so hard to say out loud. Oh, for God's sake, don't cry. You look like Jeff Sessions watching a black man vote. Karen, this may come as a great shock to you. But I'm a homosexual. it? What's your next bombshell? Harvey Weinstein isn't always a perfect gentleman? That's it, I'm gay. Does the hustler posing as your business associate know? He suspects. <laughs> Karen, I need you to help me come out to my wife, Crystal. Tonight would be a good night to tell her, but it's her 90th birthday and I'm afraid the shock might kill her. Come to think of it, tonight might be the perfect night to tell him. All right, fine. But if I help you, I get my room back. Deal. Wait a minute. Crystal's already dead. I went to her funeral. <laughs> you and original Benji had the first dance. The first shovel of dirt on the coffin revived her. And I learned a valuable lesson. Appreciate every day of your life. And when it comes to your loved ones, cremate. <laughs> Always remake. You came between one of the most sacred relationships there is. A woman and her housekeeper. Oh, what can I say? She just prefers being around masculine energy. Let's leave your wife out of this. I want you to stay away from Rosario. What Rosario does on her own time is Rosario's business. You do not own her, my dear. She's a person. I know damn well what she is. You don't have to tell me my own maid is a person. Of course she's a person. I'll play you for her. All right, you're on. Damn it! Oh, I'm really gonna enjoy having Rosario around the villa. She even alphabetized my imposter fragrances. <laughs> special lady. Yeah. She sure is special. Eight ball. Side pocket. <laughs> I would have made that shot. Yeah, tell it to the Marines if you already have it. Ha! <laughs> Eight ball. Side pocket. <laughs> Oops, you scratched. I won. Rosario's mine. The hell she is. Now back off, you Keebler elf. Don't you <laughs> take that tone with me, mister. Well, bring it on, big cheater. <laughs> <laughs>